Hello everyone, welcome to my The Way Home official channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The actor who plays Colton Landry on The Way Home, Jefferson Brown, expressed his pride in the way the Hallmark Channel series handled the plot of his character. That major revelation caught us off guard. The complete account of Colton's tragic vehicle accident was ultimately revealed to viewers in the Hallmark Channel episode, The Way Home, on March 19. The heartbreaking scene occurred at the conclusion of an episode that also looked at Colton's efforts to cope with his son Jacob's absence. The character's actor, Jefferson Brown, expressed his gratitude to Hallmark for how they handled Colton's plot and his pride in being a part of the program. According to The Way Home, Colton was a member of a bereavement support group. Kat has been progressively learning more about her parents' relationship ever since her brother disappeared through her journeys to the past. Despite her mother, Dell's Andy McDowell, claims that she thought Colton was having an affair, Kat found proof that he had really used the family's savings to pay for a private investigator rather than a new girlfriend. She also discovered more about the reasons behind Colton's estrangement from his wife following the untimely death of their kid on her most recent journey back in time. Kat happened to find out that Colton had belonged to a bereavement support group. She pretended to be a woman named Rose and made friends with her father while going to numerous of the gatherings. He discussed his marital difficulties and his perception that he and Dell weren't doing enough to help teenager Kat, who felt guilty for her brother's disappearance during those talks. My spouse is a resilient one. She is incredible. She is my pillar of support. Furthermore, I no longer know how to be a husband or a father, he remarked. Jefferson Brown commends the Colton plot of the Hallmark Channel program. Following the Hallmark broadcast of The Day the Music Died, Brown used Twitter to discuss the episode. He applauded the writers of The Way Home and the network for producing a masculine character who wasn't scared to express his feelings. The actor wrote, Too many fathers and sons suffer in silence, chained to prehistoric notions of strength. I would like to express my gratitude to all of our authors, storytellers, and at Hallmark Channel for showcasing a character who acknowledges his need for assistance and displays struggle and pain. Speak with your family and friends. Brown expressed his pride in being a part of The Way Home in a different tweet, saying he was especially proud of episode 9. Kat finds out that she contributed to her father's demise. Not only did Kat's journeys back to 2000 provide her with additional understanding of her father's struggles in the months following Jacob's disappearance, she also discovered that the night of his accident, he would have been returning home by car from a meeting of a support group. Even though she had once attempted and failed to halt Jacob's disappearance, she was now resolved to go back in time and attempt to avert another catastrophe. Kat returned one more time, ignoring Elliot's cautions that she couldn't prevent Colton's death. She had to sprint to the precise location on the road where the collision occurred because she was running later than she had anticipated. Alice, Kat's teenage daughter, followed her mother into the pond after pleading with her not to go back. When Colton saw them, they were fighting in the middle of the road. He swerved to miss them and ended up slamming into a phone pole. When Kat raced to his rescue, he realized, as he lay dying, that she was an older version of his daughter. Knowing that her attempts to stop her father's death actually caused his accident, how will Kat handle this knowledge? And when will we eventually find out Jacob's fate? Sadie Arflamsnow, star of The Way Home, recently shared her passion for her role as Alice on the Hallmark Channel program in an interview. Regarding the recently released time travel drama, she mentioned that Alice, one of her characters, is not your usual closed-off, grumpy teenager. Continue reading to find out more about Laughlam Snow's thoughts on the newest Hallmark program. Hallmark Channel's Sadie Laughlam Snow and The Way Home, Sadie clarified, you have a lot to work with there, in an interview with UPI. You've got a ton of history. There are a lot of stakes. She goes on to say that Alice is more complex than the conventional portrayal of a closed-off, rumpy teenager. 
readers who struggle to communicate with their teenage children will be able to relate to La Flamme Snow's words. Currently, The Way Home airs on Sundays on Peacock and Hallmark Channel. The program tracks Sadie's character Alice and her mother Kat as they relocate to the farmhouse in Canada, owned by Kat's divorced mother Della. Alice meets the teenage Kat through a time travel link she finds soon after they relocate. She also gets to know Brady, her father's teenage incarnation. Alice begins to solve the mystery of the Landry family via this Portugal. Exciting challenges in the role of actor. According to Laughlin Snow, her most recent part presents her with exciting new acting difficulties. She did add, though, that it was for entertaining and emotionally fulfilling narrative. In the most recent Zoom conversation, Sadie clarified, I was watching the scenes where Alice was with her family in the 1990s, and I could see how kind, loving, open, and warm she was then, and how cruel and distant she was from her parents now. The Hallmark star went on to claim that Alice wasn't opening up to anyone or disclosing anything about her. She added, you have these two really, really different sides of the same person because of this. I found it appealing that the main focus was discovering Alice's true self and that this process takes time. Women who are strong in the way home. La Flamme Snow was also captivated to the series by the abundance of strong, vividly rendered female characters. She added, you have a lot to work with there. The fact that the show is based on mother-daughter relationships is so rich. You've got a ton of history. A great deal is at risk. Sadie did point out that the time travel component of the show was kept a secret during the audition round. She stated, They don't want to give anything away until you are closer to landing a role. La Flamme Snow, meantime, is unsure if it would be advantageous for all children to go back in time and meet their parents. But Alice, her character very certainly did. In essence, Alice is unsure of the reason behind Dell and Kat's communication breakdown. They coexist, she continued, but this isn't a warm, homey environment. She has faith in even in the most recent episode for Alice is still in the dark. She continued, saying, she only notices the enormous difference between who they were and who they are. While she has a duty to help mend that, she must also stay in her own space since Kat and Dell will fight it out when it's necessary. In January, Hallmark debuted a brand new time-traveling series called The Way Home. Since then, the three-generation tale starring Andy McDowell, Chyla Lay, Evan Williams, Sadie Laughlin Snow, Alex Hook, Al Mukadam, Jefferson Brown, and David Webster has captured the attention of fans. Will season two of the show air? The announcement has been made by the network officially. An announcement regarding The Way Home season two is made by Hallmark Media. Deadline revealed on Thursday that Hallmark Media had decided to give The Way Home a second season renewal. Above all, the second season is expected to delve even deeper into the Landry family's past. Even more so, Sunday nights are when viewers are sleeping in. This show is more popular than reality shows like Real Housewives of Potomac and 90 Day Fiancé. As the mystery surrounding the Landry family deepens, viewership is rising. Can they overcome their current difficulties by going back in time? Netflix was the original developer of The Way Home. Lisa Hamilton Daly, the EVP of Programming at Hallmark Media, disclosed in a recent Decided interview that she had worked on The Way Home while she was at Netflix. Rather, it turned into Hallmark's first fresh show in a span of seven years. She also disclosed that the moment the plot was pitched to her at lunch, she fell in love with the time travel series. Virgin River and Sweet Magnolias, two successful series for the streamer, were the brainchild of an astute executive. She is still creating new Hallmark series, though. Three new programs are scheduled to premiere in 2023. Two-thirds of these shows have been announced by the Feel Good Network. In late March, Hallmark will debut a new rodeo series, Ride. There will also be a new Hallmark series soon. Ride will premiere on Sunday, March 26 at 9 p.m. Eastern. According to Lisa Hamilton Daly, there are hot cowboys in this series.
Ride is another family story that is told in the sweeping vistas of the West and is a little soper, yet being distinct from the way home. She also made a suggestion about some mystery. Ride debuted immediately following the first season conclusion of The Way Home. That episode, though, will run on Hallmark an hour earlier at 8 p.m. Eastern. Two additional Hallmark shows exist. First up is When Calls the Heart, which has been renewed for an 11th season and will make its premiere. And last, a new Christmas show called Holidays is coming up. As per the post made by Sleepy Kitty Paul on Twitter, they filmed Holidays in November. Erin Cahill, Ian Harding, Tim Perez, Barry Levy, Lillian Lee, and Jacob Insley are the stars of this. Hallmark is keeping things under wraps and hasn't made an announcement yet. As a result, they ought to make the announcement before the October countdown to Christmas officially begins. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.